My name is Rafael Menko, and I'm one of the founders of Who's Reading. And I'm super excited about the, the partnership that, that we have between Who's Reading and uh, Page Turners. I, when, when Fifi told me about Page Turners, I got super excited because your mission of trying to get, or the mission of Page Turners of trying to get kids excited to read and getting quality books in their hands really aligns with our goals uh, of making kids better readers and able to really engage the text that they're reading. So I'm really excited that uh, all you teachers and students who are going to be using Who's Reading and Page Turners in tandem will have the experience this year, which I truly believe is going to help your students become more passionate and, and better readers. Uh, so I wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction into the program. And uh, so yeah, without, without further ado, uh, let me sign into an account and uh, show you a little bit of the basics. So yeah, you, you go to whosreading.org and then you click login and you select teacher. Uh, this is a demo account that I made. That's what you're looking at right now. And uh, the first step would be to go to roster. But when you create your account with the login information that, that you're going to be provided with by, by Fifi, uh, you're, you're going to be taken to the roster page automatically. And once you're there, you're going to go to add students. Uh, and the process for adding students is fairly straightforward. You, you type in the student's first name, last name. You actually uh, can just use last initial if you rather do that. So let's go with Mark Johnson. And every, between each name, you just want to insert a comma. And uh, you're going to choose the grade level of your class. But don't worry if you have certain students who might be reading at a higher or lower level, you can always adjust their academic level later, uh, which will sort of have an impact on the level of questions that they see. So it's differentiated by grade level. So just like that, you can add your, your two students. And they're going to show up in a little bit. Uh, there we go. And once you get this information, you'll have a, a print login information button. So this is going to provide students with their usernames and passwords. Uh, you're totally able to change students' usernames and passwords by, you know, if you guys have a system always, like first name, last name as username. Or so say you want Sam's password to be Sam 1989. You can do that and change his password to be who's reading. Uh, anyways, that's probably more details than you need right now. The last thing I want to tell you guys about this certain kind of process is this is where you adjust their academic level. So imagine uh, Sam is a really advanced reader. You can click on sixth grade and then all the questions he'll be seeing are harder questions and the kind of like the, the strictness of the auto grader will also get harder as the grade level goes up. And yeah, basically the way students use the program, and I, I would recommend watching this video again because it's going to explain the entire process and show you uh, visuals, is that they read whatever they want. Uh, there's no restricted library. Uh, you guys are be, uh, being provided books by page turners, I believe. So I, I'm sure a lot of those books will be ones that students are reading. And then whenever they finish reading a book, they take a quiz. And uh, the quiz is going to have three questions. They're going to be open-ended questions uh, because we believe that students are going to grow more when more is expected from them. And so we don't do any multiple choice because, I don't know, I think that's kind of a lower level way of assessing students' understanding. And our questions, again, can be like made easier if they're too hard for students uh, at any time. And yeah, I mean, that's really the process. They read books, they answer uh, via you know, physical books, and they answer questions on our site. And we have an algorithm that's really assessing everything that they're writing. Uh, what's look, and it's looking at their comprehension and it's looking at a variety of different writing components like are they using good grammar? Are they citing evidence effectively? And all these things will become a lot more obvious as you start using the program. I just wanted to give you an introduction and really make it clear how excited I am.
that we're partnering with with a you know, really cool organization and with your classrooms and your students and it's really an honor for us to be able to work with your schools uh, at any time if you have questions just send it to our support we're actually really good at responding to to emails quickly so that we can make sure that your experience is as good as possible